हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नंद कुमार राव बवाले फ्रॉम कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग अंबाजोगे इज गोइंग टू डील विथ फ्लूड मेकैनिक्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस फंडामेंटल डायमेंशंस देन द डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटीज एंड डायमेंशनल होमोजिनिटी मेथड्स ऑफ डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस सो नाउ टुडे वी विल सी न्यूमेरिकल साउंड रिलीज मेथड सो दिस इज द standard table that we have seen in previous class that is uh, dimensions for derived quantities so we have various derived quantities and for these uh, derived quantities we have dimensions here so these are required to solve the problems <coughs> now we'll see a problem find an expression for power p developed by a pump when p depends power depends on head h and discharge q also on the specific weight w so these are the three things power is going to depend on three parameters so he says that the power p is function of that is h q and omega so we have to correlate these two that is power with head <coughs> discharge and specific weight now let us see uh how to simplify this so now just we say that <coughs> power p is function of function of head then discharge q and specific weight w so this can be written as k into h to the power of a q to the power of b and W to the power of C, <coughs> <coughs> where k is a non-dimensional parameter, it is a constant. Now we see here, <coughs> for power, the dimension for power, we can take it from table that we have seen here. So power, we can see. power is here p so that is given by m l square t to the power of minus 3 m l square t to the power of minus 3 for power that is m l square t to the power of minus 3 this is the dimension for power then k is dimensionless parameter then <coughs> head has got the dimension as meter that is nothing but L length so therefore L to the power of A then discharge Q is nothing but is given in meter cube per second meter cube means length to the power of 3 per second means T to the power of minus 1 so whole power B so this is the dimension for Q and then dimension for omega that is specific weight so we can see it from table <coughs> force weight specific weight specific weight w is m l square l to the power of minus 2 t to the power of minus 2 it is m l to the power of minus 2 t to the power of minus 2 to the power of c so this is for omega so just we can uh, write this power dimension is m l square t to the power of minus 3 then h that is head function uh, dimension is l then q is discharge dimension is l cube t to the power of minus 1 and omega is uh, dimension is m L to the power of minus 2, T to the power of minus 2. <coughs> so these are the things that we have written. So now on simplification, just if we collect the powers of M, powers of M on both sides, if we take, so on left hand side, power of M is 1, which is equal to, on right hand side here, there is no term M in between these two. So here there is power m. So m to the power of c. So we can write c is equal to 1. So therefore we obtain value of c as 1. 
then powers of powers of we connect l so on left hand side we have power of l as 2 2 is equal to on right hand side here power of l is a plus l to the power of 3b l to the power of 3b so 3b then l to the power of minus 2c so minus 2c so we know value of c okay <coughs> then we collect powers of t powers of t so when we collect powers of t on left hand side power of t is minus 3 whereas power of t on right hand side is t to the power of minus 1b that is minus 1b means minus b and t to the power of minus 2c means minus 2c so these are the three equations 1 2 and 3 so we have three unknowns three equations so now we know value of c so once we know value of c we can substitute value of c in equation number 3 therefore substituting value of c <coughs> in equation 3 so we can write here as minus 3 is equal to minus b minus 2c c value is 1 so therefore uh, minus 3 is equal to minus b or b is equal to we get as 3 so this is b is equal to 3 now we substitute this b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 1 in equation number 2 substituting value of b and c in equation 2 now equation 2 is <coughs> 2 is equal to a plus of 3b minus 2c so 2 is equal to a plus of 3 into b value is 3 minus 2 into 1 c value is 1 so therefore 2 is equal to a plus 9 minus 2 means 2 is equal to a plus of 7 or a is equal to minus 7 plus 2 or a is equal to minus 5 so we get a is as minus 5 somewhere we have committed a mistake here <coughs> b value we obtained as 1 sorry so this is minus 2 if we transfer it on b is equal to uh, this value is wrong so if we substitute c is equal to 1 therefore this minus 2 gets transferred on right hand side minus 1 so this becomes minus 1 means b is equal to 1 we get b is equal to 1 so if b is equal to 1 so this is 3 this is 3 therefore 3 minus 2 is 1 <coughs> then if we transfer it on other side minus 1 plus 2 means a is equal to 1 so now we see here uh, a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to also 1 so we obtained b is equal to 1 c is equal to 1 and a is equal to 1 <coughs> so now <coughs> we can write this power p is equal to k h to the power of a q to the power of b and w to the power of c so all values are a one therefore p is equal to k h q w so this is the relation between power and head discharge and this uh, specific weight so this equation we obtained as a result of <clears throat> this first problem so here there was a mistake so this uh, 
c is equal to 1 so if we substitute c is equal to 1 then this becomes minus b minus 2 into 1 c is 1 so this uh, if we transfer on other side so this 3 minus plus 2 we will have minus 1 that is minus b is equal to minus 1 or b is equal to 1 so this is how we obtained 1 for b 1 for a and 1 for c so these are the powers of arbitrary powers of hqw so substituting these powers we got this equation <coughs> p is equal to k h to the power of a b to the q to the power of b and w to the power of <coughs> Now, <clears throat> coming to the next problem, find an expression for drag force on smooth sphere of diameter of diameter d moving with uniform velocity v. <clears throat> diameter d moving with uniform velocity v and density rho and dynamic viscosity mu so here what we have to find is we have to find the relation between the force uh, find the expression between force f so force f is concerned with or is depending on d v rho and mu so that is nothing but force is function of diameter d a velocity v density rho and dynamic viscosity mu so this we have to find out so now <coughs> d is diameter diameter is nothing but length so dimension for d is l so v is velocity in meters per second meter means distance l t to the power of minus one <coughs> then rho that is kg per meter cube so kg means mass per meter cube means length uh, distance that is m l to the power of minus 3 so mu so yesterday we have derived the dimension for mu <coughs> that is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 so m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 so these are the uh, what you say dimensions for these parameters and force f is nothing but so for force f we have m l t to the power of minus 2 m l t to the power of minus 2 <coughs> so now we will uh, start to simplify this so as we have seen force f is function of diameter velocity density and viscosity so this can be written as f is equal to k d to the power of a v to the power of b rho to the power of c mu to the power of d so we can write it in this way so we will write dimensions for f so what is dimension for f force is m l t to the power of minus 2 m l t to the power of minus 2 is equal to k k is constant whereas d dimension for d is length l l to the power of a then v <coughs> to the power of b so for velocity dimension is l t to the power of minus 1 l t to the power of minus 1 to the power of b then rho rho is m l to the power of minus 3 m l to the power of minus 3 power c then viscosity dimension for viscosity is m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 so m l to the power of minus 1 t to the power of minus 1 power d so if we simplify this k l to the power of a then l to the power of b t to the power of minus b if we simplify this then m to the power of c then l to the power of minus 3c into m to the power of d 
एल टू दि पवर आफ मैन डी एंड टी टू दि पवर आफ मैन डी एम एल टी टू दि पवर आफ मैन टू आउन लेफ्ट हैंड सैड सो ना कलेक्टिंग पवर्स आफ पवर्स आफ एम सो आउन लेफ्ट हैंड सैड पवर आफ एम इज नथिंग मीन हियर इज वन एल टू दि पवर आफ वन सो पवर आफ एम आउन लेफ्ट हैंड सैड इज वन विच इज इक्वल टू पवर आउन रईट हैंड सैड इज एम टू दि पवर आफ सी एंड एम टू दि पवर आफ डी दैट इज प्लस डी वी कॉल दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो इक्वेशन नंबर वन गिवज अस वन इज इक्वल टू सी प्लस डी देन पवर्स ऑफ एल वी कलेक्ट पवर्स ऑफ एल पवर्स ऑफ एल सो पवर ऑफ एल ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड सैड इज वन इज इक्वल टू एल टू दि पवर ऑफ ए प्लस ऑफ एल टू दि पवर ऑफ बी माइनस एल टू दि पवर ऑफ थ्री सी माइनस थ्री सी दैन माइनस डी सो दिस वी कॉल एज इक्वेशन नंबर टू देन कलेक्टिंग पावर्स ऑफ टी पावर्स ऑफ टी सो ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव पावर ऑफ टी एज माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी देन माइनस डी सो पावर ऑफ टी इज हियर then here and here minus d so we call this as equation number 3 <coughs> now what we do here is uh, all the powers or all these equations we convert in terms of d set so here uh, we have three equations 1 2 3 equations but unknowns are for a b c d it is not possible for us to find out all variable that is a b c d uh, as the equations are three unknowns are four therefore it is impossible to find out all the unknowns that is uh, arbitrary powers the value of all arbitrary powers therefore what we do will convert these uh, arbitrary powers in other terms so let us see how to convert it in other terms so this c can be converted in terms of d c is equal to 1 minus d we can write <coughs> we can call this as equation number 4 now uh, we will uh, come here in this uh, second so here uh, we want to find out this all these terms uh, or we come to the third equation so in third equation we can get b is equal to 2 minus d we can write equation number 5 we can call this as so if we transfer this b on left hand side and minus 2 on right hand side so b becomes plus and minus 2 becomes plus on this side so b is equal to 2 minus d <coughs> now coming to uh, coming back to this equation number 2 so equation number 2 is 1 is equal to a plus of b minus 3c minus d so now a plus b a plus b minus 3c minus d so now we substitute 1 is equal to a <coughs> plus in plus of b we can substitute 2 minus d 2 minus d Minus of three in place of c we can substitute one minus d and minus d. So what we did a as it is. <coughs> in place of b we substituted two minus d from equation number five and three as it is. In place of c we substituted one minus d from equation number four and this d as it is. So now one is equal to a plus of two minus d. Minus three plus of three d minus of d. <coughs> so here <coughs> one is equal to a two and minus three. So it becomes minus one minus d minus d minus two d plus three d means plus d minus d minus d two d. Minus two d plus three d becomes one d. So now 
a is equal to we can write this as a is equal to minus 1 if we transfer on other side it becomes already this is 1 1 minus 1 this becomes plus 2 minus d so this we call as equation number 6 so what we did here a b c we have converted in terms of d <coughs> so now uh, as we know this first equation f is equal to k d to the power of a v to the power of b rho to the power of c and mu to the power of d so now we can uh, have these uh, values f is equal to k d value uh, uh, the value of a is uh, in terms of d is known d to the power of 2 minus d <coughs> this a value we have substituted in this equation from equation number 6 then v to the power of b value is 2 minus d b value is also 2 minus d then rho to the power of c value is 1 minus d 1 minus d then mu to the power of d so now we simplify this f is equal to k d square d to the power of minus d then v square v to the power of minus d then rho and rho to the power of minus d so if we separate this mu to the power of d so now <coughs> what we do we collect the terms which are positive on one side positive terms we collect on one side that is just we uh, carry forward this in this next page we call this as equation number seven just we will take it on next page f is equal to k d square d to the power of minus d d square d to the power of minus d then <coughs> v square v to the power of minus d v square v to the power of minus d then rho rho to the power of minus d rho rho to the power of minus d then mu to the power of d mu to the power of d now this is the main step here so what we see here is a positive power that is d square or v square and rho so these have got positive powers and uh, having constant numbers so we collect here f is equal to k d square v square rho so what is going to remain is d to the power of minus d means 1 divided by d to the power of t then we have here v that is 1 divided by v to the power of d then a rho to the power of minus d we can write it as 1 divided by root to the power of d so if we transfer it in denominator the signs will uh, change so now what we can write here is <coughs> mu to the power of rho to the power of d and we have rho to the power of uh, mu to the power of d in numerator so if we write this as f is equal to k d square v square uh, rho and we can write here mu divided by rho v d whole to the power of d so because everything has got power d so therefore we have written it like this so this can be written as we don't know the value of d that means this bracket is function of mu divided by rho v d mu divided by rho v d is a Reynolds number so Reynolds number to the power of something so what this power d is that we don't know at present but we can obtain it by experimentation therefore we can simplify it in this way k d square v square rho and this is function psi another function psi of mu divided by rho v d here now we need not to write power d so that is uh, phi of mu rho v d 
is nothing but that is mu divided by rho v d to the power of d. So this we have replaced and we obtain this final relation between force and other parameters. So this is the final answer for us. Final answer for us is f is equal to k d square v square rho and psi of mu divided by rho v d. So according to this release method, we have correlated <coughs> this force with the other independent parameters that is diameter, velocity, the density and <coughs> dynamic viscosity. So this is a one. Now we see another numerical. <coughs> Partially submerged body is stored in water. So it is stored in water means, uh, say for example, if we see a vehicle, failed vehicle, a, another vehicle is uh, going to attach with it and we pull it. So that is called as a towing. So here a partially submerged body is stored in water. The resistance R to its motion depends. So when this uh, partially submerged body, which is stored by some ship or something else, then uh, it is dragged in the water when it is partially submerged, not completely submerged. So for its moment, there will be a resistance <coughs> offered by the water. So that resistance is uh, depending on density of that uh, liquid. It may be water, oil or whatsoever it is. And then viscosity mu, uh, length of body, velocity of body at which it is moving and the acceleration due to gravity then show that the resistance to the motion can be expressed in the form. So we have to correlate this resistance R with density, viscosity, length, velocity and acceleration due to gravity in this way. <coughs> so now let us see uh, the things uh, that is already he has given what equation we have to obtain in which form we must uh, produce this equation that is already given here. So now uh, we'll see the dimensions for various uh, parameters. Now let us see how to simplify this. First of all, we'll collect the things which we need. So for resistance R, this R is related or it is function of we say that is density rho then mu <coughs> then length l then velocity v and acceleration due to gravity g or this can be written as r is equal to k rho to the power of a mu to the power of b l to the power of c v to the power of d and g to the power of e a, B, C, D, E. So these are the five terms. Now uh, let us see this, uh, what you say, dimensions for this. We can have here dimension for rho. Dimension for rho is L, M, L to the power of minus 3 kg per meter cube. Then dimension for mu is <coughs> M L to the power of minus 1, T to the power of minus 1. Just now we have seen. Then the length is dimension is L. Whereas velocity V meters per second, that is length per unit time, length to the power, length T to the power of minus 1. Then acceleration due to gravity, that is meter per second square. Meter means L, T to the power of minus so these are the dimensions. Now we can substitute these dimensions in first equation. We call this as equation number one. So one more is remaining. Resistance is nothing but the force. Sorry. Uh, it is non K is non-dimensional constant. And this uh, resistance R is having, uh, it is nothing but force and force has got dimension m 
L t to the power of minus 2. M L t to the power of minus 2. So here, this is a force in Newton. Okay. So now, a resistance. R is equal to K rho to the power of A, mu to the power of B, L to the power of C, V to the power of D, and G to the power of E. Now, dimensions for R is nothing but M, L, T to the power of minus 2, which is equal to K, then rho has got dimension M, L. M L to the power of minus 3 to the power of A into mu. Mu is M L to the power of minus 1, 3 to the power of minus 1 to the power of B. Then <coughs> this is for mu, then this is for L. L is nothing but having L to the power of C. Then V is nothing but L 3 to the power of minus 1 to the power of B. And acceleration due to gravity is L t to the power of minus 2 to the power of t. E. So now <coughs> we can write this as M L t to the power of minus 2 is equal to k. M to the power of k. L to the power of minus 3a. So just taking this power to M and L. So this is taken to this into M to the power of b. L to the power of minus B, T to the power of minus B. Taking this B separately to these three terms, we get it. Then L to the power of C, L to the power of D, <coughs> T to the power of minus D. So taking this power D to the L as well as T, we get this. Then L to the power of E, e to the power of minus 2e. So taking this power e to these two separately, <coughs> we get it. So now, uh, collecting powers of m. So we get power of m here is 1, l power is 1. So power of m is 1 is equal to here power m is a plus of again m here b. Plus, uh, no more uh, m is there. Only at two locations we find m. So therefore, this we call as equation number two. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now, uh, collecting powers of here. Yeah. Now, power of L on left hand side is 1 is equal to, so here this is L, here is L, that is minus 3K, <coughs> then minus B, plus C plus B, plus C plus B, then L to the power of E, plus T. So we call this as equation. Then collecting powers of T, powers of T. We get power of T on right hand side is minus 2 is equal to <coughs> here there is no T, here there is T is equal to minus B, then here minus B. and minus 2 e minus 2 so this is equation number 4 now <coughs> we have obtained first equation 1 is equal to a plus b then second equation we obtained as 1 is equal to minus 3 minus b plus c plus d plus e then next equation we obtained that is minus 2 is equal to minus b minus d minus 2 e now <coughs> there are five unknowns here a b c d e and 
we have only three equations uh, which we have obtained that is equation number two three four so therefore it is not possible to find out almost all unknowns therefore we have to express three unknowns in terms of two unknowns maybe u and g hence we express a c and d in terms of b and e so we are going to do or we are going to express these unknowns that is a c d in terms of b and e so any <coughs> three have to be expressed in terms of some other two so therefore um, this first equation can be written as a is equal to one minus b we call this as equation number five then we uh, go for this last equation <coughs> equation number four so this equation number four can be written as so directly we write here d is equal to two minus b minus two e so <coughs> this d is transferred on left hand side and 2 is transferred on right hand side so d becomes positive 2 becomes positive so d is equal to 2 minus b minus 2e we call this as equation number 6 so now we have equation number 6 and 5 in terms of b and e so now this equation where c is written this is to be taken in terms of um, what you say <coughs> b and E. So we are converting uh, these uh, terms in uh, uh, all these unknowns in terms of B and E. So here it is already converted in terms of B. So here it is converted in terms of B and E. Now this is the equation. So that we have to use. We will uh, go on next uh, slide. We take this equation as it is. 1 is equal to minus 3A minus B. 1 is equal to minus 3 a minus b minus 3a minus b c plus d plus e c plus d plus e and uh, we have uh, two more equations that is equation number 5 that is a is equal to 1 minus b a is equal to 1 minus b and d is equal to 2 minus b minus 2e d is equal to 2 minus b minus 2e d is equal to 2 minus b minus 2e minus b minus 2e so now we will substitute uh, these values in this equation in place of a and in place of d and we want in terms of b and e so this c we will transfer on left hand side or uh, keeping c on this side only we transfer all other terms on other side so this equation and uh, this is the equation number say three so this equation number three we will rearrange <coughs> as c is equal to one plus three a one plus three a plus b this b if we transfer on other side this 3 we transfer on other side c is kept as it is d minus d minus e so we are keeping c as it is so rest of the terms we are shifting on other side therefore c remains positive and all other terms change their side 3 minus 3a becomes plus 3a minus b becomes plus b plus d becomes minus b e becomes minus e now uh, we will substitute the value of a and d in this equation so 1 plus of 3 a value is 1 minus b so here 1 minus b a is equal to 1 minus b plus of b minus of d value is here 2 minus b minus 2 e so this uh, d value is substituted here this is a value we have substituted and e will write as this now we simplify this as <coughs> 1 plus 3 minus 3b plus b minus 2 plus b plus 2 
e plus e so on further simplification 1 plus 3 is 4 4 minus 2 is 2 <coughs> these are the constants 2 now <coughs> minus b minus 3b plus b so this becomes minus 2b minus 2b plus b is again minus 1b so that is minus b we can write then we have e values here 2e plus e so this is 2e plus e plus 2e minus e so this is minus e. this is minus 2e minus e is nothing but plus e so this c is equal to <coughs> we get this equation in terms of b and e so this we call as equation number say 6 7 so now we will rewrite these equations first a is equal to 1 minus b so this is equation number so this is equation number 5 then d is equal to 2 minus b minus 2 e this is equation number 6 and now we obtain c is equal to 2 minus b plus of e this is equation number 7 so these three equations play very important role <coughs> in further analysis now we have uh, to carry this equation number one so we take this equation number one as r r is equal to k rho to the power of a mu to the power of b rho to the power of a mu to the power of b then l to the power of c v to the power of d g to the power of e okay so this is equation number one now <coughs> r is equal to k rho to the power of a a value is rho to the power of 1 minus b <coughs> mu to the power of b as it is then l to the power of c we are uh, going to keep this b as it is l to the power of c so a we have replaced now c we have to replace as 2 minus b plus of e then v to the power of d d has to be replaced by from equation number 6 that is 2 minus b minus 2 e then g to the power of e so we have replaced a then we have replaced C and we have replaced D. B and E are as it is. So now we will rewrite this as R is equal to K rho, rho to the power of minus B. <coughs> mu to the power of B. L to the power of 2. L to the power of minus B. L to the power of E. Then V to the power of 2. V to the power of minus B then v to the power of minus 2e then g to the power of e now uh, collecting these in this way so here are the terms r is equal to k this row then l square <coughs> then v square a row l square and v square we take on one side then we have uh, various terms as you uh, as per given in the equation what he suggested is we have to collect in this first equation <coughs> in this equation rho l v square so we have to collect mu rho v l mu rho v l with power negative mu rho v l mu positive rho vl negative so here we will collect mu positive mu to the power of b 
रो टू दी पावर ऑफ बी सो पावर्स वी कलेक्ट रो टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस बी एल टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस बी एंड वी टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस बी सो द टर्म्स कंटेनिंग दिस रो टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस बी म्यू टू दी पावर ऑफ बी पावर बी वी आर गोइंग टू कलेक्ट एल टू दी पावर ऑफ बी एंड वी टू दी पावर ऑफ माइनस बी we have collected in one bracket whereas in other bracket we will collect the powers with e so l to the power of e g to the power of e and v to the power of minus 2 e so now we can write this as r is equal to k rho l square v square in bracket <coughs> we can write this as mu divided by rho then l and v to the power of b so because these are the negative terms we can transfer in the denominator so uh, becomes positive and we are going to collect and collectively we are going to write its power as b so into this is l g to the power of v square to the power of e so this v square to the power of e we can write so this is negative therefore we have transferred in denominator so r is equal to <coughs> k rho l square v square then this is function of this term is function of mu divided by rho l v whereas this term is function of l g divided by v square therefore we can write it as function of psi is function of first term mu divided by rho l v then second term that is l g divided by v square so this is closed so this is what is given in this problem <coughs> so you can express uh, in terms of a d c or you can uh, uh, express in terms of a b c uh, that makes no difference so you can express uh, three uh, terms in uh, only two Uh, unknowns so that is why so we have three equations and five unknowns so therefore we can find out only three unknowns that is a d c or a b c so that depends <coughs> how to manipulate so that will be gained by experience so this is how we have proved or uh, shown the resistance which is correlated with the five terms that is density dynamic viscosity length velocity and acceleration due to gravity in this term or in this way which is asked in the question so here we stop and in next class we will discuss the remaining things thank you